YouTube, the Buffalo Pile out here on the porch. Maybe a little shaky tonight. I'm holding my phone tonight uh, instead of got it on a tripod. So uh, just going to do a quick intro here as we get ready to start our next project. This one's going to take a couple of days, so we're going to start tonight and then we're going to finish it up tomorrow. So you probably see me in some different clothes. So don't don't think that I'm trying to mess with you or anything. This is a two-day project. We're gonna to start tonight with a with a, a little prep work. So we'll be so maybe tomorrow's night will be a little easier for us. So anyway, we talked Monday about uh, Miss Pookie and and her uh, cast iron problem, and well, she found she found a little cast iron here. Yeah, she found this in a backyard under the drip of a house and uh, it's held a lot of water and it's really rusty and we're gonna see if we can clean it up a little bit she also found uh, another little pot here it's cast iron as well uh, but coated with a, a porcelain or ceramic coating uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it in and you can see the bottom of it's pretty nasty too we're gonna put it in see if we can clean it up a little bit too uh, Hopefully it won't be quite as bad with the ceramic coating. It doesn't look to be, uh, the coating doesn't look to be broke or pitted or anything. So we're, I'm gonna hope that it'll clean up pretty good too. Anyway, we're gonna give these two a shot. I'm gonna go over here in a minute and put them into a vinegar bath. And they'll sit there overnight and tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening whenever I get home and get everything ready, we'll get them out and see if we can get them cleaned up and, then we'll season them up and see if we can make them usable again. Thanks for joining me here on the porch. Okay, I've moved over here where I got a work table. I got just a five gallon bucket and I got two gallons of vinegar. This is just a Walmart vinegar, cheap old, just distilled white vinegar. And uh, we're gonna put these pans down in this pot or down in this bucket. pour that vinegar in there on them let them set overnight and then tomorrow we're gonna pull them out and see if we can get them cleaned up anyway I'll uh, get this going and we'll take a break I'll show you a couple of pictures and then we'll pick up again tomorrow all right YouTube we're back it's the next day. I've got on my old grubby shirt because we're going to get dirty today. Um, anyway, uh, our pans, our two, two cast iron pans that we put in this bucket here, they've been sitting in here for about 20 hours. And we're going to look in here. You can see the, the liquid's getting a, a tinge to it, kind of like the color of the rust. So we're hoping that's going to have moved some of that rust off. And we're gonna start first with the little pan and kind of see, cause all we really gotta do with it is clean up the edge and get it cleaned up and then hope the porcelain cleans off too, hoping the, the acidity from the uh, uh, vinegar has helped clean that porcelain up too. So we're gonna dip down in here and get it first. It's the one down at the bottom, whoop. Just lost a little bit on us there. Okay. So there's some grit coming off of it. The, Coloration is still pretty bad on it. But I got these little Scotch Bright all metal scouring pads, okay? Uh, you want the all metal, uh, you don't want anything with any fibers in it that might get hung in the cast iron because that's going to cause you problems later on. So you want something all metal. And what we're going to do is we're going to work this edge, this cast iron edge here, and see. And you can see quite a difference in it just from a few rubs there. So we'll work on that for a minute. I'm gonna shine the, uh, put the camera down here so you can see it and uh, as I kind of work on it here a little bit. And then we'll see if we can make this look a little better. All right, so. Alright, 
that's coming off there with a little elbow grease. I think it's going to come on off and it's going to clean up and be all right, I think. We still got some cleaning to do on it. I'm going to take it in the house and I'm going to wash it in the sink and scrub it a little bit with another with another one of these uh, pads. Got another uh, copper pad here. I'm going to scrub it in there in the sink and then we're going to come back out and uh, I've got a drill with a with a wire brush attachment. We may use it to see if we can't go ahead and get some of this more stubborn stuff right here around the bottom edge. It's it's pretty tough. I can't really get my stuff in there, so we're gonna try a little try a little more muscle on it. We'll also be using that on the big pan whenever we get ready to take it out in a little bit. Okay, we're in here at Miss Pookie's sink now. It's got the water running. It's uh, getting hot. We want to get some good hot water and see what we can get uh, what we can get washed off of this. Get our dishwashing soap out. Yeah, the one time you can use soap on your cast iron is when you're re when you're getting ready to re-season it. Clean all the seasoning off of it. And then wash it real good with some uh, with some uh, soap, and uh, then you start the seasoning again. But don't ever use soap on it once you get the seasoning going on it. All right, we we'll get some good hot water going here. Plug your sink up. Put a little bit of soap in here, and uh, we'll see how this comes out. Okay, this one's covered in porcelain, so it's not going to matter as much on the soap because you're going to wash it with soap anyway. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, we will, once we get this all cleaned up and get it all cleaned up and ready to go, we will season it just a little bit to kind of seal this uh, raw edge that it's got around it here. A couple other raw spots to keep them from rusting. And uh, anyway, we're going to go out and try the uh, brush on it, uh, the drill brush on it, and see how, uh, see if we can't get these other a little harder to get spots off. But the inside of it's cleaned up pretty nice so far, so we're getting in pretty good shape with it. Uh, we'll be right back outside in a few minutes. All right, we're back out here at the work table where we were just a minute ago, and now we're gonna put a little power into it and see what we can get done with this little, uh, skillet and then we're going to do the big skillet go and wait and use the big power tool on the big skillet but going to need it to get a few of these hard spots on this little one so i'm going to turn the camera down here and we're going to see if we can get this finished up right quick got a lot more of it off but it's still got some discoloration to it I'm probably gonna wash this and season this edge up a little bit so it doesn't rust anymore and then I'm gonna um, probably see if there's something else I can do to clean this uh, this porcelain or ceramic coating on here uh, I thought that brush would take it all off there but it hadn't yet so I'm gonna I'm going to put this one aside and we'll uh, work on the other one. I'm going to go wash it and, well, no, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to go wash this one first. We'll get it in the oven seasoning this rim up. It won't take just a little bit. I want to season all these little spots that's got metal showing just a little bit so that they don't rust. So we'll step back into Miss Pookie's kitchen and then we'll uh, wash this up and get it in the oven. And then we'll uh, see what we can do with this big frying pan. All right. We're back in here in the kitchen now. I got the hot water running and getting warm uh, so we can wash that pan real good. And uh, we're going to turn this oven on and let it preheat to 350 degrees. All right. 
We got that started. Now we're going to move right over here and we're going to give this pan a little wash, a little more soap. Like I said, I'm not 100% happy with the way this one came out. It's still uh, got some uh, discoloration in the bottom of the pan. And then on the bottom of the pan, it's still got some discoloration. But for now, I think I'm going to do what I can here. And then I'm going to see if there's something I can do with that ceramic or porcelain coating. Um, see if I can't find something else that I can do to it to make it a little better now what I want to do to these metal edges I'm just going to season them up a little bit with some uh, canola oil that I got I got a little metal piece showing here on the end of the handle that kind of been scraped off or broke off and we're gonna cover it too and then I'm gonna put this in the oven for oh 30 minutes or an hour and just let that bake on so that it gets uh, Gets a little seasoning to it so that it maybe won't rust on us. We'll put a little bit on the paper towel there. And then really all I'm worried about is this edge right here. I want to be sure it's coated all the way around. Can you see that? There you go. Get all the way around this edge. Make sure that just that iron part that's exposed there. And right there you can see on the end where it's got a little bit of metal sticking out. We're going to coat that just a little bit. We're going to wipe the excess off the porcelain. And then uh, we're still waiting on that oven to preheat. But another thing we need to do in the oven before we, uh, before we put that in is we need to uh, cover the bottom rack with uh, aluminum foil. That'll keep any drippings from the oil from going down on the from going down on the uh, bottom of the oven and smelling bad and burning and uh, keep us from having to clean the oven from his pookie. We certainly don't have to do that if we don't have to, right? All right, so let me get the aluminum foil and I'll do that and then we'll uh, be ready to put this in in just a minute. I'll be right back with you. All right, we're back now. I got the uh, oven preheated to 350 and I got the bottom rack layered with a a coat of aluminum foil tip this up here a little bit so you can see and that'll keep any drippings that come off of the pan while it's seasoning from going there down in the oven and making a mess so anyway I'm gonna get this little pan and we're gonna set it upside down right on this rack and we're gonna close her up here and we're gonna leave it for 45 minutes to an hour let that uh, oil cook in real good and get real hot. Uh, and pores open up when it gets hot and it, it absorbs that oil real good. Kind of sets that seasoning around the edge. And like I said, all we're doing is trying to put enough around that edge to keep it from rusting whenever it gets wet. So anyway, got that in, ready to go. Let's step back outside now where it's hot and work on the big, big pan. All right, we're back outside now in our bucket. We've got our vinegar uh, solution in it and we got this big one it's been soaking for well since I did that and stopped mate supper uh, probably close to 22 hours now on this one so we're gonna pull it out and see what it looks like now and that's a considerable difference in just 22 hours and it's got the the rust is still still pretty prevalent but some of the big chunks have fallen off in there so that helps us out a lot. So now we're gonna use our wire wheel on our drill again and see if we can clean some of this up and get this down where we can season it up. First, I'm gonna set this bucket down off of the table here. Keep it there close because I'm gonna need to wash this off every once in a while. So we're gonna start off with our with our wire wheel on our brush and see what we can get done here. All right, we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna try to 
change my wheel out here. I got a flat wire deal here to go to. Didn't know which would work better. I figured need it. Need different ones for different pieces of it. Figured in the corners and crevices I might need this. So we're gonna try it here on the on the bottom, see if it works a little better. All right, guys, I think that's about what I'm gonna be able to do to it right now. I'm gonna take it in and wash it up and look at it, but it's pitted so bad on the bottom, I don't know if you can ever get all of that out and all that cleaned up. Um, so this is probably gonna be a campfire skillet. Not gonna be able to cook with it on the stove anywhere because it don't have a smooth bottom. So that's gonna affect the heat distribution on it. Anyway, we're going to take her in and wash her up, see what she looks like, and decide what we're going to do with it. All right, I'll see y'all inside in a minute. All right, guys, we're back in the kitchen now. Back in here where it's cooler. Worked up a sweat on this one. Um, the inside surface, the bottom surface, the cooking surface here, got pretty good. The bottom of the skillet and uh, some of the outside and even some of the edges are so pitted, remember I uh, said she found this under the drip of a house in the backyard. So it's been sitting on the ground, probably constantly full of water and sitting in water with the water and everything there. So it, it's a tough deal. I don't know if we're gonna be able to save it or not. We're going to clean it up here and see what we can get. Okay, well, well, see that shiny bottom? I'm pretty happy with that. But the rest of this is pitted as it is. I think it's still got some rust in it. Um, so I'm gonna put it back in the vinegar bath and let it soak for another day or maybe even two and see if I can clean any more of that off. See if I can get anything else going off of that. Um, I don't know, um, I'm gonna post this video up before I get this done. And if it's still as pitted as it is and I'm afraid it's gonna be on the bottom here, probably what I'll do is I will, uh, finish this off with a seasoning in a, in a campfire. I'll build me a fire out here, just an open fire, cover this in oil, and just lay it in the fire and let it cook on. If I can get this inside good and good enough that, I, that I'm willing to eat out of it, I'll do that, and then I'll put it in my camp gear once I get it good and seasoned in a campfire, and uh, It'll make a campfire skillet, but like I said, it'll be for a fire. It won't be for any type of a stove. This bottom is just so rough and so pitted right now. Don't think there's any way you can uh, save it. So anyway, looks like looks like the buffalo pile got him a camp skillet, and Miss Pookie's just gonna have to deal with her porcelain skillet. We'll be back in a few minutes. To take it out of the oven. It should be just about ready. All right, guys, I'm back. I got the big skillet back out in the vinegar bath. Um, gonna give it a little more time, at least another day, maybe two, see if I can get any more of that crud off the bottom. Um, it's flaking up, so I'm thinking it's pitted and it's, uh, 
damage the uh, cast iron. Uh, the inside did come fairly clean and smooth, so worst case scenario, we're going to give it a fire bath um, and season it in a, in a campfire and use it as a campfire skillet uh, for just to cook on an open flame out on the campfire. Uh, it should be fine for that once I get it cleaned up and seasoned up. But we're going to take a look at this little one now. I'm going to turn the oven off and we're going to take a look at it. And, uh, you know, like I said, the porcelain or the ceramic on it still needs a little work. And I'm going to try to find a way to clean that a little better than it is. But it came out pretty nice. And we're going to uh, see how this edge seasoning did. And then we're going to wrap this video up. Oh, it don't take you long to look at that one. It plenty warm, so I'm gonna sit there in the sink and let it cool off for a minute. But it looks like it's good shiny around the lip there, which is what I want. Uh, on this end here, looks like we got a little black coloration on that metal as well. Uh, I'll try to get a picture of it and show it to you here in a minute, but right now it's too hot to handle. So we're gonna let it sit in there and cool off in that metal sink for a few minutes and then uh, we'll take a look at that. Anyway. I'm dirty and hot and it's too hot outside so I'm not going to go back out to the porch to do a wrap up for this video. I'm just going to wrap it up here in Miss Pookie's kitchen. But um, sometimes you get these plans and they don't always go as you had, had them planned. I was planning on, you know, saving that old rusty skillet and, you know, when you get down to it and it's just too pitted or, you know, if it had been cracked or something, you know, if it had froze up and cracked or something, you know, would have been unsalvageable. You know, that's just the things you learn when you start cleaning up cast iron is, uh, is, is it savable? And, you know, like I said, I think I can use that one for a campfire skillet, but I don't think I'd want to use it for anything else. So we're going to. We're going to keep cleaning on it a little bit here for the next day or two and see if we can't salvage something out of it. Uh, this little skillet I think is going to be pretty good if I can figure out a way to clean that porcelain um, coating on it. Uh, get a little bit of, a little bit more of that discoloration out of it. I think that could be a usable skillet for, uh, for in the house. But uh, anyway, those things happen and, you know, we all live and learn and that's what we're doing here on the buffalo pile channel we're living and learning so anyway i do appreciate everybody joining me if you like what i do give me a thumbs up oh boy that arm's dirty i'm gonna have to take a shower give me a thumbs up if you like it and, and if you want to see more of what i do hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you get a notification buffalo pile always tries to post on mondays and thursdays a couple of good ones coming up next week i think so uh Y'all uh, hang in there with me. Uh, keep sharing the videos around. Tell your friends and your family. And uh, I appreciate you being with me. And I always appreciate you joining me on the porch. But as hot as it is tonight, I appreciate you joining me here in Miss Pookie's kitchen. Because the air conditioner vent is blowing on me. And it is good. Thank y'all for being here.